Welcome back. We are here on Etero. Yes, it has opened again. I've basically been making Etero uh, jokes all day long, and uh, it has been uh, technically horrifying listening or you know, reading the comments in the comment section, some comment section in Etero. As uh, well, people were stopped out of the of the platform yesterday and could not basically enter, and uh, now it has to be basically basically horrible for most of the traders that are basically using this platform so hopefully they will fix this problem and it will never happen again um yes so we'll start by looking at the us dollar and this is going to be my daily forecast for thursday february 25th 2021 and as you can see we did see a rally in the us dollar index and then we broke down again so 15 20 offered massive resistance However, technical indicators are slowly turning around. So the CCI is turning around, Stochastic is turning around, and MACD is bearish, and the RSI is bearish. So yes, you could... It is difficult to say basically where we're going. If we break the 20 exponential, then we'll open, that opens the door to these highs at 1998. A break below these uh, lows opens the door to uh, 89.15. So yes... Keep an eye on this. This will basically determine where most of the commodities market and precious metals will go uh, on forward. But this does not this does not look like a very bullish candlestick. This looks like a very a very bearish candlestick. So let's look at oil. Well, oil market is defining all odds. Uh, we're trading at sixty three point fourteen. At this point, we are at 72. Um, due to the fact that we basically fell quite significantly here, we got the, the RSI to go lower. We had a massive rally here on, on Monday, broke down yesterday, and then we rallied yet again today. So 65 will most likely be where a lot of selling will occur. This will also become uh, significantly overstretched if it doesn't have a pullback after, after that. We are approaching the previous highs prior to the coronavirus which just seems um it seems ridiculous uh, because the world economy is not in the same state as it was prior to the coronavirus so we can see that we have this massive spike here i remember this actually because this was the day that um i think it was iran that would attack the saudi oil fields and we had this massive spike of 14% uh, to the upside, and then it just crashed. Then we rallied all the way up towards uh, uh, 65, and then we basically got this period here where it basically fell to, it doesn't show zero, but it went to zero uh, minus, uh, minus uh, 38 something. So, well, we are rallying. We have rallied be between, uh, since uh, 33.84, uh, and we're trading at 63 at the moment. We haven't had a major breakdown for several months, all the way back to the end of October or the beginning of November. We haven't had a major breakdown. 20, 50, well, even just 20 has been major uh, support for oil. And uh, yes, as long as that is the case, it is just buying the dips. But um, 65, that will probably offer a lot of resistance. 70 and 75 will definitely be an area where we'll see movements similar to this, where basically we were here at the 66, where we fell all the way down to 51. So uh, we will see a range at some point, uh, but at the current stage, pullbacks towards 20 are basically buying opportunities. So natural gas. So yes, uh, weather is getting better than the United States. Uh, demand is uh, lowering and this is now dropping. We have fallen below the 20 exponential, heading towards the 50 at 2.7. If the 50 breaks, we'll head all the way down to the 200 moving average at 2.4. It is uh, fairly unlikely at this point that we will see a rally that takes out uh, these previous highs. We could see a rally here up towards back towards the 20 exponential or probably the $3 range. Uh, but um, I would not bet the farm on it at this point. It is more likely that we will see a decline in demand and also decline in the price. So let's look at copper. 
So copper is defining all, well, basically odds at this point. It is, um, it is getting fairly ridiculous to be very honest. We have been outside of the bullish band for the last four days. We're trading at the 4.3050. At this point, we are significantly over overbought, but there's no end of sign in this. At the point, at this point, we are heading towards a 4.5 if we discontinues, and that is not far off where we are at this point. Technical units are still very bullish, so this may continue. It looks like a cryptocurrency, but uh, but um, that is where we are going. Uh, this just can't go on forever. You just look at this graph here. It is technically vertical at this point, and, and that will only mean that we'll have a major breakdown. If we have uh, the Fibonacci retracements at this point, you can see that the first Fibonacci retracement is at roughly four, and that is most likely where we're heading to, where we'll find major support. So let's look at gold. So as you can see, we had rallied, we rallied yesterday, found some uh, resistant here at the 20 exponential or the middle of the bullish band at the 1815, then broke down today quite aggressively down to 1784 and then rallied a little bit. At this point, we are still in a, in a downtrend. We are slowly going lower. Uh, 1750 is uh, our short term target here. If that breaks, we'll go down to 1700, give or take and then probably significantly lower. If 1700 breaks, then we'll probably go all the way down to 1500 before we found support. But this is a gradual uh, decline. It has been slowly going downwards. We have occasionally seen these rallies to the upside towards the top of the Bollinger Band, but those moves, this one, this one, and this one, they have been absolutely trashed when, they, when we have seen those moves to the upside. So let's look at silver. So as you can see, uh, 20 exponential is holding, 50 is also holding. So pullbacks towards the 20 and the 50, that is basically buying opportunity. We are gradually going up towards $40, uh, $30, sorry. Um, and uh, after that, we will probably see a lot of uh, selling occurring around this area. But a break at this price level here opens the door to 35 and beyond that. So technical indicators, they are all over the place, to be fair, honest. but uh, as long as the 20 and the 50 are holding, they will be uh, possible buying opportunities. So let's look at platinum. So as you can see, we did rally uh, outside of the bullish band, broke down towards the 20 exponential around 1200, and then we rallied yet again today. Whether or not we continue this rally up towards uh, 1300, uh, that is to be seen because technical indicators are not very bullish. They are definitely not. They are flat or they are well, technically flat. CCI is a little bit bullish, but otherwise, other ones are very flat. So we could see another pullback towards the 20, around 1200, um, $1,200, and then go higher from here. We are in uptrend, and as long as the 20 is holding, uh, then this will just continue higher. So it looks like a pallium. So this has basically been all over the place today. And uh, this is the reason why I say just stay away from this. If you are not, if it's not trading at the very highs of 2.5 or at the very lows at 2 point roughly 2. So the reason why that is because when we're trading in the middle of this range, it just becomes extremely volatile. So trading this today is almost impossible. We did break down all the way down to 2.283, and then we also rallied up towards 2.396. So we have been all over the place. We are trading right underneath the 20 exponential here at uh, 23, 30, uh, 43. Technical indicators, they are looking very bearish at this point, so we could see a move to the downside, but as you see, this price level here offered a lot of support. So if you go back down to this area here, see we could see a pullback as well. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium had a massive day today. We rallied all the way up to 21,676. Uh, technical indicators are very bullish, but we're significantly 
overbought and we are on the edge of being overstretched here. So we could see another day where we are we go outside of the Bollinger Band and head towards the 2200 and then we could see a pullback towards the 2100 before we rally. But uh, moves like this, uh, they will have buyers come, selling it, sellers coming in and pressuring this down. So let's look at nickel. So nickel also had a major day today. We were at uh, 19,160 and rallied up to 19,817. Uh, 19, we are at the previous highs here. Technically indicators are very bullish, but we are overbought. We are also getting top of the bullish band. So pullbacks from here towards the 20 exponential around 18. 1700 or 18,800 that is where you could enter this market uh, for a target of roughly 20,000 so let's look at sugar yes we have fallen quite drastically and now it's getting very interesting to, for this market so this was this was coming uh, for all instruments it, would, it doesn't really matter if it's stock in the sea if it is, uh, if it is um, a cryptocurrency and so on, all parabolical moves like this outside of the Bollinger Band, they will basically be sold into. The same goes for the bottom. When you're oversold, they will also be uh, bought into. Technical indicators for sugar are, well, they're looking very, very bearish at this point. So we could see this fall even further. If we break uh, below the 20 exponential, that opens the door to the 50 at the 15, 0 0.1584. Uh, and then we could go higher from there. That is an area where we have seen this um, been very supportive in the past. So let's look at cotton. So as you can see, this continues to rally to the upside. And uh, at, this, uh, at this point, we are also getting fairly parabolical. We are at 79 here in the RSI. So we could expect a pullback at least to 0 0.9 or the 20 around here at 0 0.8692. Um, this can't go on forever and um, it will just have to do a, a red counting right around this area here that will be an indication that this is ready to fall. So I'm not ready to sell this. I'm ready to basically buy this when we get at, to the 20 exponential or something like that. So let's look at COA. So as you can see, we have been rallying the last uh, few trading days. We did break the 50 moving average. We're most likely heading towards the top of the bullion band at this point at the 2.618. We found support down here at uh, 20, 2372. And now we're basically rallying. So I've stayed away from this because it is basically it is all over the place. Uh, we have these massive falls and then we have these massive rallies. And uh, to trade this, you can easily get caught in one of these massive moves. And, and that is really, really costly. So where we could basically start selling this is around here, uh, 2.8 or all the way down here at 2.2, where we can basically start buying it. When we're right in the middle, I have no interest in basically, uh, basically trading this whatsoever. So let's look at wheat. So wheat uh, had a massive day today, even though it was basically the end of this contract. So that is probably the reason why we saw, saw this move to the upside. But we are, it is very overstretched. We are only at 61 here in the RSI, but a uh, move like this outside of the bullish band that will be sold into uh, towards the 20 exponential. So 653 is where we most likely will find uh, support or the 50 here at the 634. And uh, we are in uptrend. We're getting very overstretched at this point. And we're also, this is also previous high. So at this point, um, a pullback is very likely. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel. Not support our channel, but if you have any questions, you're welcome to uh, write me over on Patreon, the link. Um, and uh, good luck, and thank you very much.